we have some big things going on right now. I've been grinding. I've been cooking. Hey, if you guys are in need some coins, check out my sponsor, A-O-E-A-H, and use code WALK, W-A-L-K, for 3% off. And then once you click that link in the description, all you have to do is click which console you guys are on, PC, Xbox, Series X, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. Click on it. And there you go, all the prices are listed. As you guys can see, I did it, I did it, I did it. 20 freaking wins, 20. It took me a year and a half, but we did it so we get a free 89 overall. That's not the only thing we got going on this episode. We got 15 packs and we got extra, extra stuff. We got the three Twitch drops. And if you guys know what this means, bam, it's one of, oh. Oh, this is literally just, oh, the tokens. We get three tokens, which means, no way we actually pulled, okay, that's actually pretty sick though, out of this pack. So we get a token, which means we got three packs. Those of you guys didn't know, the uh, Madden Pro League was going on. And if you guys watched it and had your, and had your Twitch linked with it, you actually got dropped. It was like 30, it was like 30 minutes, an hour, and then so on, so on. The more and more you watch, the more drops you got. And if you watch for a certain amount of time, you got a free card. And y'all know what that free card is? 87 overall, Tyreek Hill. So there we go. Just a helpful hint. I'm pretty sure they're gonna do this more often. I don't think this is just like a one-time thing. We got the free 89 overall Tyreek Hill. Oh my gosh, look at those stats. 91 speed, 86 jump. 91 route running deep. Oh, we in 91 agility, 91 excel. This is by far our best player. It's not even close. When you guys do the superstar KO stuff, you get the free Joe Hayden or whatever card. We missed on the Odell Beckham card, which would have been nice to have, but we got the free Joe Hayden. I don't know if he's actually worth the dang. Ah, uh, I mean, not horrible, but obviously. Not the greatest because all the receivers are going to be super fast. So he's not going to be able to go deep downfield, but he can guard underneath. I was trying to figure out what player I wanted. I know TD has Vince Young and he has him powered up and I know he's nasty for him. I'm going to pass on him. All right. I know. I know he's probably the best choice, but I'm actually going with someone that I simply just like a whole lot. Brian Dawkins, baby. So he has that 88 speed, 89 excel, tackling's 80, zone is 88, and his hit power is 89. So I just wanted to go with him because I don't think many people are going with him. And Brian Dawkins, one of my favorite players to play with and one of my favorite defensive players of all time. No, we did have Nasir, who was actually pretty good. Nasir Adderley was actually pretty good, but I had to go with him. Brian Dawkins, I was actually debating going with him the first time around, but now we can actually sell them if we feel. Nasir Adderley, we could sell them if we want. We have that safety now. And of course, the way we play our defense, we do normally actually have more safeties on the field. So they'll actually play anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much if we keep them, sell them. We're gonna keep them for right now. Overall, I feel like we're really good. And also, if you do the Superstar KO, I'm just going to quickly show you guys the offense and the defense. And I'll show you guys a little bit of an added thing if you guys want to get a little bit of extra coins. So, this is an added thing for those of you guys that did grind for the Superstar KO. If you happen to do it, you might as well go ahead and win five more games. You get 10,000 extra coins. If you want to go all the way and go to 35, you can get 20,000 more. The real thing is, at this point, I want to save up as much coins as possible. So that way I can get a quarterback and get abilities with my quarterback because that is very important for your no money spent. That's like the number one priority. I feel like at this point, once you get those really good players, eight and two, we're in the divisional round. This is going to be hard, but I believe. What? Oh my goodness gracious. This man got a good team. We may have made, a oh my, wait, is he doing what I think he's doing? What in the world's going on? I, I, oh no. We're in trouble, but I got to stay on this route. The double move's not going to be there. He's going to check it down. Beautiful D. He's not, baby. Okay, that actually was not that good. There were so many wide open people. I was trying to make adjustments that play, but I didn't get to make the adjustments in time. And who is? Oh, my. I don't even know how I feel. He flips his play every single time. And I got this route. And there we go. The fact that he just flips his play every time just makes me super nervous like i have never really played that many players that just flip their play he's gonna try it isn't he 
Oh, he's gonna run? No! I want you guys to let me know what he's doing with flipping his play every single time. I don't know what is, it, it's, I don't, I've never, I, I just wanna know. I, I don't know, I really don't know. That middle of the field's wide open. Oh, I thought we were actually gonna pick that. Ooh, he was feeling it though. He, that was a big hit too. I like that a lot actually. Let's kind of shift to the left. I'm gonna guard this, I'm gonna guard this, I'm gonna guard this. Meep, meep, oh, he breaks it. Oh, he gets clobbered though. Oh, he's going freaky fast, my goodness. Come on, boys, we gotta get to stop here. He's gonna check it down. We gotta tackle him. That's gonna be a first down though. He's gotta get tired, he's going hurry up. He's going hurry up a lot. Come on, boys. Yes, pick six, Andreo roll. He could go all the hard flaps work, baby. Gotta keep your cool with how he plays because that thing is, it's freaky and it's scary. What he, oh, come on, where's, oh, Brian Dawkins was almost there. So he tried to run a cover three beater, I think, that last play, but we played it really well. Our deep blue on the right side of the field actually went all the way back, which is very nice. We kind of got him. I need to get after him. He has the back side of the tight end delay. Wow. So I tried to run quarterback contain last time, but we didn't contain him that well. I don't think it was a tight end delay or anything. I just think, oh, our guy just has to stay on that for one more second. JC Jackson, you stay on that for one more second, we would have had that. That's my bad though. Obviously that's my zone. I got to cover that, right? Man, that was close, close, close. Oh, I'm on the wrong person. This is probably going to be a first down. Oh, where's Brian Dawkins? Right, Brian. Now, just a little bit of an unfortunate stuff that happened on that drive, right? But you know what we got to do? He runs this blitz. I mean, every, pretty much everyone I play runs this blitz. Where we, I mean, we got the sideline every single time. Um, it's like the. I'll show you guys. Yeah, it's that blitz right there, and it's pretty simple to beat. So as long as we kind of have that check down, I don't think it's really possible for him to stop us. So we gotta play a very careful and very cautious game, right? Just because of how he kind of plays. He can score very fast and he knows that he can score very fast. What a run. I'm gonna go hurry up here. I kind of like my play call that I had set up before and let's see what happens with it. We're gonna have him. That's, I mean, that's it. That's a, that's too much to handle, baby. Let's go Mostert with the linebacker easy peasy you know what we got here we got the running back once again like i said it's gonna be open it's just how the defense is set up i made a mistake y'all okay i don't want to hear about it but i want to hear you guys scream for me got him <laughs> let's go baby let's go d hop and he stays in bounds i believe oh no he did stay in bounds the time is still going awesome that's exactly what i wanted to do follow our block go in there Waste some more clock here. So again, with how that blitz works, it means the middle of the field's open if he's gonna try to guard the right side of the field, right? So if he wants to guard the right side of the field, I mean, we got the running back. That's, I mean, easy. That's a touchdown. I know it's fast, but he was gonna use his timeouts anyways. Here we go. I'm running the man coverage. Now I know that man coverage, it looks glitched, but he's actually on the running back. So we do have that deep route there. Wait, never mind. it actually does glitch out. Whoa, that's insane. I did not know that was a thing. Oh, be careful. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, well, that that's actually really scary. But he is running tight end delay. But of course, how you stop that tight end delay is, I believe you could just run main coverage on that. He's going to try the deep route. He's going to twirly swirly. That's actually crazy. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, man, he had so many people open on that play too. Oh, no, we're in the wrong defense. Whoa, you're wrong defense. That's fine. Wrong defense, a lot of time left. Yeah, wrong defense, my bad. We're getting a lot of movement to the right side of the field, okay? That's the game plan. And that's a lot of space. Rodgers to Tyreek Hill. Neither side can stop each other. And of course, I mean, it's just how it goes sometimes. I wanted to hit him, but we'll just hit the sideline up. I wanted to hit it. We ran the four verts, we had the seam. These are the plays we need to start doing especially against good opponents. My opponent is very good, so we need to play smart. My opponent, he runs a tight end delay. We gotta go ahead and put it to him. 
take it. To, oh my gosh, we did not. And then we fumble. We didn't block, and then I fumble. No! Series of unfortunate events. That's so tragic that that happened. But what can you do? Besides go forward, kick it. We're still not blocking. I, I don't know what he's doing. But one comes in every single time. I, I mean, maybe we can bring in another blocker. But I think he has us. I, I don't know what to do about it. I didn't want to get dogged in my playoff run. But you know what? I'm going to say it. Oh! I, oh, he caught that. It looked like a ball hit the ground there. I don't know what he does, but we can't block. Look! His guy comes in unblocked every time. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I mean, look at He's coming in unblocked again, and then we fumble again. I don't know what he's doing. So, uh, yeah, we got dumped on, right? My opponent obviously knows how to play this game very, very well. And I did not, never in my life played anybody like this. So I wasn't prepared for this. What normally happens, and I know why my opponent runs tight end delay, it adds extra blocking. So if I run tight end delay in that spot, in that situation of getting instantly sacked, it would have helped out. Even though he did have five versus four, whatever he was doing to the D line just automatically got pressure. Even when I did add blocking, I would even shift my O-line. I tried everything like that. And I even tried having my running back in the block. It seemed like no matter what I did, it seemed like the pressure was always there. And if I somewhat got it down, he would send a blitz and I still wouldn't have time. So overall, just if you guys run into anyone like that, just run tight end delay, tight end delay, tight end delay. It's a little bit lame, but I think that's the best way to solve that problem with your offensive lineman not blocking. So as you guys saw it, my offensive lineman would actually go in instead of blocking the guy that's right there. So that's what solves that problem. All right, so there's my opponent's team. Brian, that's pretty good. All right, so second and four, he's liking that underneath. We got to get there. We got, oh my gosh. Oh, how did I miss him there? So I really don't know how to deal with Vince Young. I mean, his blocking's really good. And he can scramble him. Just look at it. Look at it. We got to do something about this, man. I'm going to try to quarter. Okay. It's literally, he's just getting out of the pocket with ease right now. We need to figure something out of how to stop him. But again, he's going to insta scramble. And I think that backside's going to be the big problem for us. Again, another first down. Not falling for the play action here. I'm stuck. No, no. And he's going to be wide open. What a gain. Now, obviously, it's a running down right here. And uh, yeah, he got in pretty easily. It's our time to shine. Let's go offense. We got the wheel wall. Um, <clears throat> so I said it's our time to shine, but it's not our time to shine right now. It's going to be hard to stop him here because his run game is actually really good. And he is going to run the ball and it's just wide open. It's honestly not looking good for us right now. But it looks like he's running the four verticals. He had, He's going for what? We get the interception. JC Jackson, come on, baby. We need to turn this game around and it starts right now. I hate to be that person, but I'm very desperate right now. Tyreek Hill in the slot. Come on. That's going to be a touchdown. Oh my gosh, that was big. Now we need to get this. This is his go-to play. Okay, uh, we, we have no pressure. No contain. He's running out of the pocket, but I'm covering him. I'm covering him. He throws it right at... Let's go! Let's go, Landon Collins with the interception. You know what? Right before half, that's all we needed. Gotta make sure we get the touchdown. I'm liking the running back on this one. He's gonna guard it deep. We got the running back underneath. We just need to get into the end zone. Okay, there's a little bit of time left, but I think... We could stop him. Oh my gosh. And I spoke too soon, man. Well, the story of the game is containing the man Vince Young. And we have done a bad job. I mean, look at him. He's just rolling around. We can't get after him. He's going to scramble. And he's actually going to get some yards out of that. Now I'm liking it. Third and four. We have the underneath blocked. He has all the time. But I think we go. Oh, I see him. No, I can't get there. And he's going to get it. What a play by him. I mean, at this point, we need something here. We got it. Okay, we got everything covered. I got to get this backside. And there we go. On trail roll with the interception. We got to pick six. We got to pick six. And that is what we needed. Oh, my gosh. Going into the fourth quarter, it's going to be a two-point game. Holy cow. We're getting that do-or-die point right here. Okay, we know his go-to play. He loves this play. And oh, I see him. Wow, Galladay. Just gashing us there for that first down. All right. Well, you know what? It's fourth down again. Our last chance. He's same exact play. He got the first down on, but I got him this time. Let's go. Stay in the end. No, 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 no,
We got Kasaki. Gastel, that's a little bit overthrown, but Kasaki gets there. Michael, Michael, thank you. Just a few more first downs in this game is going to be clutch. We got Kasaki underneath, baby. Let's go, Mike Kasaki. Let's get it, baby. All right, now we got to clutch up. Third and seven. Clock's going. We must get the first down. It's going to clinch the game. He's running into our guy. But he got off of him. We have him. And that's a sideliner. And that's going to be it. And he's gone. Interesting way to quit. Very weird game. He loved the Vince Young scramble. And it was so hard to stop. I mean, it's impossible because he has escape artists. And that's just nasty. Like last year, it wasn't really that good. But now it's nasty this year. With that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.